All right, so let's try this out. To make life simple, I'm basically going to use the same inputs that were given in the various doc tests. Let's start with the first doc test. Let's give the values a equals 1, b equals 2, and c equals 3. Notice I made a small mistake on line 23. I left the dot. For now, let's pretend I didn't see that. I'm just continuing. Now, according to the doc test, the expected answer is 2. Now, what about the answer that this function actually returns? Let me pretend that the answer here is also 2. And let's click on code check and find out. What feedback does this provide? It tells us error argument b must be an integer. Python is recognizing that what you have provided, 0.2, which is internally the float, 0.2, is not of type int. How does the, this website know it? Well, it's running some hidden code that I wrote that is checking, making sure that you're giving valid inputs. So let's fix this to 2, the integer 2, and click on code check one more time. And this time, it tells us that the given function actually works correctly when a is 1, b is 2, and c is 3. What you have given me is not a counterexample. Okay, let's try the next doc test. The next one says a is 9, b is 3, and c is 6. In this case, the expected answer is 6. Let me make an error. And let me say that this function, I believe, actually returns the value 3. It doesn't, and you should check to see that this function actually does return 6. But if I incorrectly trace through the code, and if I think this function returns 3, what feedback will I get? I will get this feedback. It says median 936 does not return the value 3 that I said it does. Notice that it doesn't tell me what it actually does because it's trying to encourage me to practice code tracing myself, right? And it's telling me that, look, if you need hint, try practicing on Python Tutor. Okay, I will. So let us say I went to Python Tutor and I changed that. I said, oh, of course, I realized that it's six. Well, now again, that part of the answer is correct, but once again, I haven't produced a counterexample. So it will keep giving me feedback which is hopefully helpful and this feedback should help you make progress. When we finally try the last doc test where a is 7 and b is 8 and c is 0, the median of these three numbers according to the definition of median is the middle value once you sort these values. So if you sort them let's say in increasing order the smallest is 0 then comes 7 and then comes 8 and so the median value is 7. But if we actually try to trace this input on this code, let's see what happens. A is less than or equal to B, so this part of the condition is true. But B is not less than or equal to C because B is 8 and C is 0. So this if condition is not going to be true. We could trace this on Python Tutor, but I want us to practice tracing it in our heads. We'll skip then to the elif case on line 14. Is b less than or equal to a? No, it's not. So there's no point even checking the rest because b is not less than or equal to a. b is 8, whereas a is 7. So we'll come to the else case and we'll return c, which is 0. So the return value is 0. Let's make sure I have traced it. I have worked out the expected value correctly. I'll click on code check. And this time I get the success message. There's one other message which I haven't yet showed you. Let me quickly show that to you. Suppose I somehow thought that the expected answer was 8. Then I actually have, pre I have got a counterexample input. This input is actually a counterexample and I have actually worked out the return value correctly but I haven't told I haven't said what the expected answer is. So here it tells me that 8 is not the expected answer for this median. Please reread the doc string. 
In this case, the doc string just tells me that I have to calculate the median of three integers. If I don't understand the definition of median, maybe I should look up some trustworthy resource that will tell me why the median of these three numbers is not eight, it's actually seven. So I hope you find uh, refute problems useful to help you practice.